Welcome. This video is for students of Benjamin Franklin School in Cleveland, Ohio. It is an educational video only. Okay, so we're looking at the music staff, and the music staff has five horizontal lines, and in between those five horizontal lines are four spaces. And all the way to the left of your uh, music staff is what is called a treble clef symbol. Looks like a fancy S backwards or fancy G, G, I don't know. I just know that it is called a treble clef symbol and it usually represents higher instruments or voices, higher voices and things like that. Okay, so we're gonna talk about in the space just to, uh, first of all, there's gonna be a couple of ways that we learn the notes here, but we're gonna go over a long time favorite way of kids for doing it first. It's not my favorite way, but a lot of kids like this way. So start with the notes that are in the space. There's going to be four of them. Remember I said there's four spaces, space one, space two, space three, space four. Notice that the lines do not go into any of the notes unless they kind of accidentally do on the, on the A a little bit, but it's not supposed to be that way. Okay, so let's back it up. Space one, space two, space three, space four. And in each of those spaces has their own assigned notes. So when you use the treble clef, you will never look at space one and call it anything except for F, unless you called it like F sharp or F flat or something like that. But you'll never call anything in space one anything on a treble clef except for F. And same thing with two. So if you memorize this, you're always going to know in the treble clef what they are. All right, you go ahead and say the, say the letters this time. I will say the space, you say the letter. So I'll say space one, you go F. Space one, space two, space three, space four. Okay, moving on. Uh, this time, I'll say the space and you say the letter. So again, if I say space one, you'll say F. Space two, you're going to say A. Space three, you're going to say C. Space four, you're going to say E, which of course spells face. Space one, space two, space three. Space four. Now, I know you got that, and if not, you should go back to the beginning of the video, do it again, or tomorrow, do this whole video again. Now, later, we're going to mix them up, but right now, let's move on to lines. If it's on the line, every good boy does fine. Line means it's shish kebobbed, just like your, your Uncle Ken, your Uncle Fred, your Aunt Maria. A lot of times, we know people that have a grill and... They like to shish kebab things, which means they take that, that string of vegetables or meats and they put a little stick right through the middle of it, shish kebab. That means in music it is on the line. So first line, line one, line two, line three, line four, line five. And the saying for that is, every good boy does fine. And there are other sayings that you can do as long as they start with E, G, B, D, F. I've made up my own, such as every girl and boy does fine, except it's got a little quiet and in there, which doesn't belong. And uh, But, you know, there's many that you can use. So let's do that. I say the, the line number, and you say the word. Line number one. Line number two. Line number three. Line number four. Line number five. Let's do that again, and don't say the letter. Say the word. Line number one. Line number two. Line number three, line number four, line number five. All right. Now I say nothing, and you go ahead and give the. Uh, let's back that up again. Okay. This time I will say the word, and you say the letter. Every good boy does. Fine. All right. I say nothing. Can you give whatever you want? I don't care if you call this every or you call it E or you call it line one. Would you do wherever you are? I'll press the button and you call out what you know. Again, that could be line one. That could be called E or it could be called every. Do whatever makes sense to you right now.
do it again, and if you're really good at it, change it to another way of doing it. So if you did every good boy does fine, this time change it to the letters. Let's do it real fast. And faster. Okay, anyway, going on to the next one. Now this is a way I liked learning uh, the notes, I, but most kids like the way that you just did it. This is the science behind the music. So now we know that that's always in the treble clef, always going to be called A. But if, uh, if I told you space, line, space, line, space, line, space, line, instead of we're doing all spaces and lines, it would actually bring out an alphabet. So space, line, space, line, space, line. And then we even have another space right there we can add in. And that is... Uh, our alphabet only going up to G and if we went below A it's not going to be Z it's going to be G below G below F and if we went below E it would be uh, the note D okay so let's do that again I'm just gonna say I want you to understand it goes space line space line space line and we have this extra space up there and below A is not a space it's it's actually a line then a space than a line. And within that we have our musical alphabet. But if you can remember your musical alphabet and know that that's an A, you'll always be able to go in either direction. Okay, now many of you prefer that first way that we did it with the um, lines and spaces and every grown boy does fine and all that, so we'll stick to that for now. But on this next one I want you to tell me the space or the line number. So that should be space three. No, not space three, sorry. Line three. Line four. Space three. And remember always to count from the bottom up. Don't start counting at the top, of course. Line one. Space. Oops, gave you the answer. Space. Four. Space. One. Line. Three. Space. Two. Let's see if we can go a little faster. Line. Four. Space. Three. And if I'm going uh, too slow, then beat me to the answer. We're going to go to one more. This is going to have some answers on it. And I press play and it kind of goes at its own speed when I do this next one. Um, ignore the top where it says F do pentatonic, that doesn't belong up there. But they're just going to start appearing. I don't care if you can only say the spaces, or can you figure out the note names? C, G, See if you can get them out before I say them. E. D. B. F. A. I'm going to let it keep playing without my voice. but you keep saying the answers. D, all right, thank you so much. I hope you learned something. Now you can go back through this video probably and turn the sound off at different times, 
and uh, practice saying things that way. Get as good as you can at, at doing this. And I encourage you to look up on YouTube uh, anything that you can find about how to how to learn these note names and even possibly quizzes. Thanks and have a great day.